Alright, hey friends. Um, happy Sunday. I know I'm not in front of my sticky notes to self wall, uh, but I just wanted to talk about one insight that I've been reflecting on uh, while I'm here for the Fight for a Future Summit here in Baltimore with Generation Progress. Yesterday during one of our sessions, one of our trainers was highlighting uh, state rep Bruce Franks, who's from Missouri. Don't be afraid to open up. And the work that each and every one of y'all is doing is important. The work, that, the work that each and every person in this room, no matter what it is, whether it's political, whether it's on the ground, whether it's mentor, but it's all about that end goal. Mm -hmm. So using your story, everybody here has a story. They taught me that my story was powerful. They taught me how to use my story, how to communicate my story. My story is my superpower. Each and every person here is a superhero. Not going into a burning building and rescuing folks, not fighting some monster with superhuman strength, but changing a life by using your communication or whatever tool you have to do so. Because two superheroes do two things. They save those who don't want to be saved, and they often save those who don't know they need to be saved. Thank you. After he gave his testimony and his story about why he's in the movement and why he ran for office, uh, one of the trainers named Carmen, she, she followed up by affirming that Yes, in our room, we have a lot of really, really smart people, but nothing really beats uh, lived experience. And how she expressed it was that you don't need a master's degree to represent the people. And I really want to reflect and stick with that. And the reason why this insight or this quote, this moment really stuck out to me is because I think so often we get hung up on the fact that we're young. And it's like you, you don't have to have all of these societal credentials and validation, like your live experience is validation itself. And why not use that that knowledge, that wisdom that's gained from the things that you've gone through in life to, to help another person do well? How might you pay forward um, the, the lessons from your struggle to help another person succeed. And I, I really resonate with that sentiment because we're in a, in a point of high urgency in our society, in our nation, in our cities. And I think if we all lay all of our assumptions aside about what it takes to do the work, perhaps a lot of these generational curses, these generational cycles, these systemic uh, problems that have affected us time after time can be resolved. And so. That's my hope, that's my reflection for this Sunday. Um, and I, I would love to hear from you too, like what are, what are some things that you've been told about doing social good that you don't think is true? Have there been people who've told you that you have to wait, uh, that you have to be this or do that before you can really hop into your passion? Let me know in the comments below and I, I'll try my best to, to reply. 